Hey guys, welcome to another Joomla tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do overrides, how to do um, component overrides. And what that means is uh, you have different extensions for Joomla, some are third party, some come with the Joomla system uh, by default. And the one we're going to be working with is the user's component. And what that does is it controls. Um, the default site registration, login, um, profile, stuff like that. So I have a link to my login form and it's just the, the default layout. Uh, what a, a component override will do is allow us to change this layout but not only change it, um, we'll be putting it in into our template directory so that if you upgrade upgrade Joomla or if you upgrade the user's component um, this will our layout will stick it won't be overwritten okay so if we go in the back end you can see I just created the login form menu item let me just show you how I did that if you go down to users manager this is the actual component and I chose login form so if you guys want to do the same then do it so what I'm gonna change I'm not gonna change anything drastically all I'm gonna do is remove this don't have an account and I also don't want the links in, in, a, in a list like this I just want them side by side so just a very simple um, very simple change maybe I'll, I'll add a heading too so what I'm going to do, I'm working on my local host on a XAMPP re um, installation. So I'm actually going to be using my Windows Explorer as opposed to maybe an FTP account if you're doing this on a, a live site. So I'm just going to go to my htdocs folder and this Joomla subfolder, this is where my site is. If you look at you'll see I'm at localhost slash Joomla and then what I want to do is go to components and com users this is the the uh, the entire front end of the users component so we want to go to views and with many components they won't have these these subfolders um, they'll just have the, the the template folder but since there's so many different views for the users uh, we have these different folders so we want to go to the login folder and we have a view.html.php file which is it's where the view talks to the model uh, and vice versa we're not going to touch that what we want is the template file so in this tmpl folder um, many extensions will only have the default.php uh, this one the users component login view has three different layouts and it's really if you click on default PHP it's just calling the login and the logout views which is right here login logout okay so that's why there's three separate folders there what we want to edit is the login the default login PHP so this here is the entire layout of this page of this component so what we want to do is we we need to edit this file but we don't want to edit it right here and just save it because if we do that uh, when you upgrade Joomla it's gonna it's gonna overwrite it so we need to create an override so what we want to do is just copy this file this default login and we want to go back to our Joomla root and then we want to go in our templates folder and then the, we want to choose the template we're using um, I'm not sure if this is B's 20 or B's 5 I'm just gonna check real quick default alright so it's the bees 20 template and if you want to see which template you're using just go to extensions template manager so let's go there to the bees 20 and your theme or your template might not have this folder uh, the HTML folder if you don't have this then you want to create it just create a new folder called HTML and now we need to add the folder of the component we want to use, which is com users. And then in that, in here is where we want our template files. 
Let me just get a side by side view right here. So, with certain components, like I said, you won't have these subfolders. Since we do have these folders, then we have to actually create them in the override as well. So we want to create a new folder called login. And in that folder is where we want to paste that default login fi um, file. So now this should override the, the base file. Okay, so let's open that up. Let's close this one up and open that one. And we want to edit this. Um, I'm assuming that you have some HTML and PHP experience. Um, if you don't, it's fine. It's very easy. You can see right here is, is the list of the links. We have the login reset, the login remind, and then the register link. And we don't want the register link. So we want to actually take this all out from this PHP tag. Um, all the way down to the end if. Now what this is saying right here is if uh, user registration is allowed on the site then it will display this link. So if it's not, if you go into global configuration and you disable uh, site registration then this won't be here. But we're just going to take this whole block out so that's gone. Now we want to take away the list. So we want to take away the UL and the LI tags. So now we just have two links. And I want to put a, a pipe in between them. And I also want to add a heading. I'll put it in the div tag. Actually, you can see here. The heading is actually already included, but we don't have it enabled from our site. So we can actually, I'm just going to get rid of this just to show you that we can change this. So let's save that. And if we go back to our login form and we reload, we now have the heading and we have the two links side by side. So you can do a lot with this. You can you can change the, the entire layout of basically any Joomla component and you can also do overrides with modules um, and you'll see if we go back to our override and if we delete this file and we reload then it's back to its default state so pretty easy um, that's it for component overrides uh, please subscribe if you can and I'll see you in the next tutorial